This past fall was one that was highly anticipated for me. I had this trip planned to stay a weekend in New York when the leaves were the prettiest, which you might have seen in one of my more recent videos. I finally had the arsenal of camera equipment that I felt I needed to get the best picture when I would be out shooting foliage. And autumn is my favorite time of year for so many reasons, and no other time comes even close. So as the end of summer gave way to small glimpses of fall promises to come, my anticipation builds with each passing day. Summer certainly is beautiful in its own right, but I'm always up for trading in all of that green color for the vibrant variety which was to come. I haven't been to a game in like three or four years and so I decided uh, it was a good good excuse to get it get back up there I used to go to a game every single year started losing interest in and in going the reason I'm going up is to hang with him because probably three or four years you know without without kids around you know bro time which we used to do all the time. I'm glad he invited me up. One of the other reasons why I enjoy fall so much is because of the football season we have here in America. I used to be much more intense about it when I was younger. I played football during my years through high school and our teams had quite a bit of success. And as a young kid, I always had been a fan of college football, and particularly the Penn State program, which represented my home state. But these days my outlook on life has changed quite a lot, and I still enjoy watching the sport. But I don't pull or root for certain teams like I used to. But my twilight ride upstate was peaceful and soothing as I was most excited to see my good friend, who I don't get to be around much these days. When football is pure and about wholesome competition with genuine sportsmanship, I fully enjoy it. As the years go by, it seems to get harder and harder to experience that raw side with all of the other things that come with it nowadays.
As September crawled along, we took the kids to a Friday night game under the lights. And that next morning, we woke up early to hit the road once again for State College to see a Penn State game at noon. This time, my family was with me, and we were also meeting friends for a small tailgate before the game started. It's kind of small, isn't it? Aaron, see the stadium? We'll have the kids. Grant was here. Don was like, right here. Here, Come up here. Today's matchup between the Central Michigan University Chippewas and your Penn State Italy Lions. That was, that was like a sticker that goes here. <laughs> I didn't do that. What do you think? Yeah. We're already really up high. Look. Oh my god, are we gonna go up there? Oh yeah. <laughs> Look, do you see him coming out? With football season well underway, nature was kicking into high gear with change leading into October. If you go looking for it, you can find those early trees that turn first, and oftentimes those are the ones that shine brightest in color. Each year it never fails. 
I get sucked into the first fully turning orange tree that I come across, and I am forced to slow down and relish in its beauty. You, you fight for what is right. So Shannon 26 says you are honest to a fault. That, how in the world? That is very true. <laughs> how, what is that? how did they know that? You, your wrath is to be feared.
You didn't? I ventured out to catch some of the harvest moon rising in the east in the first half of October. Making time to witness astral events like this is among the top of my list of things to do as I get older. The effect it can have on the conscious mind is still something that is of great wonder and mystery to me. And seeing the full moon rise to begin the autumn months only seemed appropriate for this time of year. We had so many sunny and mild temperature days this fall and really couldn't have asked for more comfortable weather to be outside to enjoy it. And every year I make sure to spend at least a few hours in my parents backyard while the sugar maples are fully turned before dropping their leaves. My dad planted them in his backyard around the time that I was born. And every year, for as long as I can remember, these trees have been some of the prettiest, most colorful and vibrant trees in our neighborhood. Truly a spectacle, and quite possibly why my favorite color has always been orange. As October waned, the nights got longer bringing more darkness. My dad begins to use his downstairs fireplace for the colder months ahead. And the hunt for full color outdoors is on full blast before it's over in what seems to be a blink of an eye. Autumn is just one of those things that I can never seem to justifiably describe in all of the different ways that I try. 
and this year has been one of the best falls that I can remember, generally speaking. The end of October usually marks the culmination of the peak, and I prepare myself to say goodbye to the brilliant foliage for another 10 months or so.